Hello and welcome to the next tutorial about prepomics. This time I will show you how to perform a stress analysis of a trapezoidal dam subjected to hydrostatic pressure. Let me create a new model first. It will be 2D plane strain this time with the default units. And now I will import the geometry, uh, which is uh, really simple in this case, just a face with two regions. And let's create mesh definition. I will add meshing parameters, select the part and uh, only change the maximum element size and leave the rest to the default settings. And now I will also add shell gmesh object uh, because I want to uh, obtain nice quad mesh. Uh, I will need to select recombination algorithm here. I can just select the simple one and then uh, I can confirm and create the mesh. I should get the desired uh, nice quad mesh. All right, so uh, I have this and now I can proceed to the rest of the setup. So uh, let's create the material first. Uh, this time it will be uh, concrete and uh, I need to specify the density for this material uh, and also uh, Young's modulus and uh, Poisson's uh, ratio and the standard values uh, that we need to uh, specify in this uh, case. Uh, so uh, it will be this and uh, now the uh, material is basically uh, defined. And let me create a section. It will be solid section, of course, applied to the whole part. And I just need to change the thickness because it will be one meter and the rest is correct because the material is already selected. So um, that's the uh, this part of the definition done. And now um, let me create a step. It will be a static step with the default settings. Uh, it won't change anything here. And now I will create boundary conditions and loads. So uh, let me create a boundary condition first, it will be fixed and I will fix the bottom edge of this uh, dam. So that's all for boundary conditions. And then uh, I also need to uh, create uh, some loads. So the first one will be hydrostatic pressure and I will select uh, this edge here because this is the water level. And then uh, I need to select two points. Uh, so uh, the first one can be uh, right here and the value will be zero at this point. And then uh, the second point uh, can be uh, just uh, this one. And uh, for the second point magnitude, pressure magnitude, uh, I can go here. And uh, this is the uh, value that I want to use in this case, uh, apply it to the, uh, to the second point. So this is the uh, magnitude of the uh, pressure here. And then I also need to specify the pressure change direction. I can just uh, select those two points uh, again. And uh, this is the whole definition of the hydrostatic pressure load. So now you can see that I have this uh, non-uniform hydrostatic pressure load defined here for this edge. And then uh, another load that I want to define is uh, just the uh, uh, gravity load. I will apply it to the whole part um, and I just need to specify the ac acceleration gravitational acceleration and direction uh, so this is the uh, value and direction of the load that I want to apply here mm, and that, then uh, this is basically everything when it comes to the setup and so now I can submit the analysis uh, of course the model is really simple so it will uh, not take a lot of time to solve actually the results are already available so let's open them and then mm, I will switch to true scale from automatic deformation and then uh, I need to look at uh, the stresses. And for that, I, of course, I will compare them with uh, the analytical solution in my calcpad sheet. So if you look at this uh, scheme here, it's the dam, uh, different uh, dimensions uh, specified here, then some densities and the rest is just the calculation based on this uh, book. So um, that's how it works in this case. And the results that I want to obtain are those two uh, stresses and uh, their values uh, are uh, given for point A uh, here, uh, which is the minimum value, and then also for point B right here, which is the maximum value. As you can see, the stresses are pretty low, and that's because it's a larger dam, uh, it's only subjected to natural conditions, water and uh, gravity, so uh, the, the stresses are really uh, low here. Um, so basically, I'm looking for uh, this value at A, and this value at B, and uh, I will check in Prepomax if I have the right results. Uh, so I'll use the query tool, and I just need to take into account that uh, I have the fixed boundary condition here, so it can be some uh, stress concentrations because of that, and because of the 
uh, sharp edges, uh, corners. Uh, so uh, taking that into account, if I search the ch check the values here around this point, not exactly uh, where it lies, I can get pretty close to uh, to the desired uh, result. And then uh, for the second point, um, I can just go straight uh, here, and it should be. And the uh, expected, almost the expected value. Uh, so we are pretty close to the desired um, result compared with Anticom calculation. Right. Uh, that's it for this prepunk tutorial. Uh, thank you very much for your attention. Uh, as always, uh, feel free to ask any questions and uh, suggest topics for future tutorials in the comments. Have a nice day and uh, see you in the next video.